Welcome back. Tammy Jo Whitmire, the president of the Bosque Valley Heritage Society, came up with a great idea for Christmas this year. Santa Fe Park in the center of Valley Mills has a perfectly good donated caboose just sitting there along with a historical marker train depot. Absolutely, but no one had been inside this rail car since the late 90s. Tammy Jo said, let's take a look inside, <laughs> maybe repurpose it. Let's take you to Valley Mills tonight in Bosque County. Just a, it's going to be a good family experience for everybody and this little town is going to have fun that night. History meets the holidays in Valley Mills this year as the Polar Express comes to town all thanks to a donation made decades ago when the caboose was donated from the Temple Rail Yard by a man named John Higginbotham. The depot had already been placed here and this is, it was originally City Park and with the uh, train, come, I mean the depot coming to this location, it became Santa Fe Park at the request of the Santa Fe Railroad. I, I love the Polar Express movie anyway, and I just uh, thought, well, we've got this, and we got the mayor to open it up, and we looked inside it, and uh, we thought it was doable. So um, we, I just thought, let's do it, and we're doing it. <laughs> I hope it turns out good. The event starts in the afternoon of Saturday, December the 9th, and then after dark, kids get to take turns loading into the decorated caboose to experience the Polar Express. We'll come and get on the uh, train. The, the conductor will punch their ticket and they will get on the train and the library will read them a story of the Polar Express and Santa Claus and the engineer will be on the train. Then they'll get off the train and they'll get their bell. And then there's a hayride. Then there is um, ornament making in the depot. And there's just a whole bunch of stuff to do, lots of shopping, just a good time for all. Those who participate on Saturday will really be living through history as this will be a step back in time to what their grandparents and even great-grandparents experienced. Donna Veneto, a Bosque County newspaper reporter and photographer, really knows the history of Valley Mills. Absolutely. I love to see the history come alive, especially when the Polar Express is going to come alive here in Santa Fe Park. And we don't see deep, we don't see the uh, caboose anymore. The caboose is a thing of the past. So we are looking at a significant piece of history in the railroad world. Valley Mills is a town because of the railroad. We originally existed across the Bosque River right off of uh, FM 56 and it moved to this side of the river because of the Santa Fe Railroad. When the kids set foot in this old original caboose with a fireplace, places to sit, and even an old bathroom, it will transport them to a different time in America. It was in service, it actually ran, and it is listed on a website. If you look at the, the serial number that's written on the side of the caboose, you can find it, and it does state that it is in Valley Mills, Texas. Yeah, I, I didn't think of that. I was just thinking how much fun it'd be for all these kids to have a good time uh, for Christmas. Now, as of today, there are only 25 spots still available for this Polar Express experience this weekend. To buy tickets, please go to the Bosque Valley Heritage Society of Valley Mills Facebook page. I know that's a mouthful. You cannot buy as a walk up on Saturday, so get them now. Kids are encouraged to wear their pajamas for this event. Well, what's your story, Central Texas? If you've got a good one, send me an email to kradcliffe at kcentv.com. We'll put you on TV, make you famous, but more importantly, we want to share your tour, story with Central Texas and beyond. So go ahead and email me. Your full